Hey, race fans, this is Chet Christner with your Comp Cam's top five moments on flow racing from this past week. Our number five happens just 24 hours after a million dollar victory at the NASCAR All-Star Race in Texas when Kyle Larson charges from the 10th starting spot at Wayne County Speedway to run down and pass leader Zeb Wise to pick up his 25th career All-Star Circuit of Champions win. Fast forward to Wednesday at Waynesfield Raceway Park and Larson would lead from the drop of the green, taking a moment to rebuff a mid-race challenge from Rico Abreu, and then pick up his 26th career All-Star win where he would have this to say in victory lane. Uh, cool to get a win. Um, love racing in Ohio and for all you fans. I uh, wish we could have went for more, but uh, we're going to head to Nashville now and, and try and get a win on Sunday. Apparently, Kyle's like the Yoda racing, where there is no try, only do, and, well, do in his case, as Kyle continued his winning ways at Nashville. On track now, the number 33 oh, oh from boy. Werdeman Racing. Oh, big moment right there. That's Ronnie Werdeman collecting the wall over in turn number three after getting in too hot. He is up and over. We'll head to Silver Crown action at Williams Grove Speedway for our number four where Ronnie Werdeman bikes it up in qualifying and proceeds to shear the front end off on the arm as he exits stage right. I'd say both he and color commentator Kevin Thomas Jr. had the exact same thought at the exact same moment. Oh, oh boy. In feature action, Shane Cockrum briefly, very briefly, I might add, captured the lead from Justin Grant on lap number 55, but JG was quick to snatch it back. 18 laps later, Cockrum would attack into turn one, propping open the door for Wyndham as well, and from there, charged to his fourth career Silver Crown win and the very first for the 5-3 Motorsports team. Spencer based in the lead. Peck throws a slider. Basin cuts underneath him. It's a drag race to the line. Justin Peck by half a car. It's back to Ohio Speed Week for our number three, and in just his second race in the Sam McGee Motorsports number 11, Spencer Basin is leading at Muskegon County Speedway. Three laps to go, and Justin Peck rotates off the bottom, and surprise, materializes in front of Basin out of four. Basin stays throttled up on the outside until the final lap when he gets a run and singes the sideburns of Peck into turn number three. Peck swoops through the apex and back to the point, just in time to pick up the checkered flag. Oh, Wyndham, Chris Wyndham with a huge moment over in turn one. Number two happens during the Eastern Storm finale at the brand new never before raced on Bloomsburg Fair Raceway. In qualifying action, Chris Wyndham punches the tornado when he catches an edge and is flung into a snot slinging slobber knocker of a spin that deposits a 19 car on its tail. It looked like it was roughly the equivalent of being sucked into a giant blender. In feature event action, Brady Bacon's rolling second in position to win the Eastern Storm Championship when Tanner Thorson squeaks through with two to go. That one pass was enough to give the Eastern Storm points lead back to a sixth running Robert Ballou. Up front, Kevin Thomas Jr. dominated the first auto race back at the Bloomsburg County Fairgrounds since 1986, and the madman Robert Ballou would win the Eastern Storm title by just one point over Brady Bacon. Courtney goes down to the bottom of the and here comes Kyle Reinhardt out of a cannon. Reinhardt tags the wall, they're running out. Oh, trouble. Red flag. And our number one is a swing back to the Ohio Speed Week for a drama-filled finale at Portsmouth Raceway Park. Battle for second, and Kyle Reinhardt gets a run to the outside of Zeb Wise when disaster strikes. Reinhardt clips the wall, ricochets off, and torpedoes the tail tank of Wise, who is sent awry and hard into the turn three wall. Under the red flag, race leader Tyler Courtney gets that sinking feeling as his right rear deflates, which sends him to the work area and from there to the tail of the field. Rico Abreu is now the race leader and looks to have the field covered until lap 26 when he falls off the pace with the flat tire himself. That puts second running Danny Dietrich into the lead and Paul McMahon in pursuit. White flag comes out and Dietrich's car sloshes and stumbles as it runs out of fuel, allowing McMahon to get by and nick the win at the Dean Niddle Memorial. While Paul McMahon celebrated the $17,554 victory, Sunshine's charge back up to the fourth finishing spot would earn him the Ohio Speed Week title. 